Goodwill in St. Charles, Missouri, not Illinois. Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we're at the Goodwill in, well I thought we were in Illinois, but we are in Missouri now. So we're going to a Goodwill in Missouri. A Goodwill in Missouri! And we didn't know that this was here. And then we looked across the street and there's the Salvation Army. So we're gonna go there next. Let's go to Goodwill first though, and we'll see. Goodwill in St. Charles, Missouri, not Illinois. Missouri, and there's Barb and Jeffrey. And look, there's Aaron and Mark. It smells like natural gas. <laughs> Okay. Got a cart. Oh, okay. We'll share a cart. Look at all the, the Christmas, Barb. Always love coming to see a new cart being pulled out. Yeah. What is this? What on earth? Oh. Hello there. Yay, Barb. <laughs> Santa. Yes, he's cute. You found me a Santa? Yeah. I don't know about that. <laughs> Here's a Santa yo yo. Nah, it's not very old. Barb, you can put it in our shared cart. I guess I can. It's a little tread bear. Again, I, I just have listed a bunch of Hallmark ornaments. So if I see any that I already have listed, I'm kind of looking for those because. I mean, I can just update my quantity and all that work is done. Here's some cards for 50 cents. I'll get those to use as package toppers. Now this right here is an older Hallmark ornament. Four dollars. Put these in our shared cart. Oh, those are cute. So did you have your GPS on the whole time? Yeah. You saw my mess up then at the end. Yeah, Mark kept saying, turn, turn. He's like, oh, well, well, we'll just follow him. <laughs> <laughs> no big deal. This is made in Mexico squirrels. A little mama squirrel and a baby squirrel. This is a turtle. I'm kind of older. Oh, I kind of like the little leprechaun. Does he play music? He's kind of cute. He's kind of cute. I know. I thought he was fun. <laughs> He's two dollars. There's a koala. Three dollars. Banana boat. I gotta get ahead of Jeffrey. Jeffrey's gonna find it all. Look. Maybe there'll be some restaurants. Hey, I saw a set of this at an at an online auction. It was not nobody had even bid on it. I thought it was pretty beautiful. It is for I like the colors on it. The like the southwestern. It's called Cavett Shaw. Fifty cents a month. The prices are good here. Do they have saucers? Yeah. Well, are those saucers are they bowls? No, they're bowls. What about this? Somebody wants to keep those. That's cute. You like the sugar? Here's Kate, Katie and Pat Steins. Okay, so I spent two dollars and I got this little pilgrim silver plate butter dish and a couple Christmas cards for package shoppers. But now we are going across the street to the Salvation Army. So now we're walking into the Salvation Army, which is right across the street from the Goodwill. And I only spent two dollars at Goodwill. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that the Salvos will be much better. We got the gang with us. Let's see what we can find. I see a little dog planter. Oh, look at the string art mugs. They're th wait, four for $3.99. And I think I'm gonna get those. <laughs> Four for $3.99. Yeah. I love those. 
that string art for my dog and the string art and I'm gonna get all of them this is pretty I think I'm going to at least get the cream oh wait, wait it's $5.99 each uh, maybe not. there's a nutcracker he's got a broken foot so he would oh he's $9.99 though yeah that's a little much who are you you're a little snowman playing the ukulele oh this is nice oh i like that for 4.99 with the animals on it yeah look at that fella and look at that thermos, thermos. 4.99 that's so clean that's a nice one isn't that cool oh bring i bought i found some treasure craft oh you did you're gonna love this. oh my Gosh, and it's actually three dollars. It's got a little chip right there, but I don't oh, think I it's. I don't, but I don't think I think it's fine it's, because it's so cool. It's not on the monkey. <gasps> oh, oh, isn't it? The, well, it's it's nine dollars. Well, so but still, I would probably sell this for a little over twenty dollars, yeah. maybe twenty four dollars, because it's an apple. Um, it, it does have a chip on the back, but I figure. Yeah, I like you it. You might be able to not notice. Um, and then the honey pot. Isn't it fun? It's, oh, I love that. That's four dollars, but it's golden crown. No, that's Portugal, good. Actually. That's good. Yeah. Oh, look at those. Ooh, those are good. They're very metro, as my dad would say. All right, everybody. So this portion of the video is the haul video. It's the haul video from where was it? We? we were at Salvation Army. Salvation Army in somewhere in Illinois. I don't remember where it was in Illinois, but it was in Illinois somewhere with Jeffrey Barb and Mark. It was a small haul, but I tell you what, it was a, probably one of the nicest Salvation Armies that I have been into, so I will give it props for that. Um, I did get a few things in there, and I'll go ahead and show you them. Now, I'm going to show you my favorite thing first. Just going to show you my favorite thing, get my favorite thing done and shown and out of the way, and that is this thermos. Isn't this great? This thermos is made by the Thermos brand, as you can see there. I did pay $4.99. Do you see the little critters all over the thermos? We've got a moose elk, moose, probably moose. We have a bear, a goose, a squirrel, a coyote, a duck, a rabbit, a deer. I think that might be all. Yeah. I think that's it but look at the animals on there i don't think i've ever seen one with the animals and stuff you can oh what does it say oh this is a winchester winchester hunting plaid oh so these are all animals that you can hunt so and so you can take this with you and it's got a little little carrying thing you can take it with you i don't know i like these for display this is a nice tall one so this is nice for a display if you have other thermoses in your collection it's got the nice glass insert in there, nice and clean. So this will be available for sale. It actually, you know what? I'm not keeping anything. Nope. It's all for sale. So if you see something that you like, you can send me a message at Thrifter Junker vintage hunter down there below um if it you know they'll either be available in my live sale yeah i think all of these things will be either available in a live sale or you can send me a message outright and see if they're still available and you can purchase them directly from me so that thermos was pretty cool for four dollars and 99 cents i thought i like that i think this was one of the first things that i picked up maybe i don't know it's been a couple weeks ago but i don't i just liked this i have a weird I don't want to say fascination, but I have a, I like pins. Okay. I like pins. There is nothing like getting a good pin that writes well. And you know, if you have a lot of pins and you like a lot of pins, you need vessels for your pins. And this was just fun. So you can have pins or you can have pencils. You can keep your pins or your pencils in this little vessel. It was $2.99. And I like that it had like almost has freckles sort of like freckles on it, a little speckle and it was a studio piece it was made by sue french thanks for the help teach from 1981. so this is probably a gift that sue gave to her teach her teacher 
I don't know. I just think that it's neat. It's kind of like, well, it's very 1980s. It was made 1981. That font on there. I don't know. I just liked it. It just, I just liked it. I did get some cups, some little. Now I would consider these punch cups because, well, the shape of them looks like a punch cup and then you would, or maybe a tea, maybe a tea cup. This doesn't hold a lot, but it has this really fun string art design on it. It's in that really pretty fun teal, like a teal seafoam green. These were, you get four, I bought four of them. These four for $3.99. I just have, so I happen to be able to get two sets of four. So there's eight altogether. And I'm probably going to sell them in two sets of four. So I'll sell them in two lots. But they just really cool. I don't know who makes them. But they that's just fun. It's just like that string art. that just everywhere. So there's four of them here in this set. And then there's four here. Now one of these cups here has a rough spot on it. So when I sell these all, I mean, that will be, obviously that will determine um, the price point of it. But whomever buys this, I will let them know. And if they don't want this one, then I won't include it. But if they do, it'll be a freebie since it is broken. But the rest of them look nice. Little punch bowls or tea. But wouldn't that, I bet you these had a big punch bowl and they would hang from the side. That's fun. Let's pretend that there is one out in the world because I think that would, that makes me happy to pretend that. So I'm going to do that. Speaking of the fun teal color, I got this Amish butter print Pyrex dish. Now my husband found this and we paid $2 for it. It does not have its little lid, which is a good idea if you are out and about and you see these little fridgy lids. It's a good idea to pick them up if you can get them cheap enough because you're going to find a fridgy at some point that doesn't have a lid. And then you can be like, well, I got a lid. I know that Dee from The Thrill of the Thrift buys the dishes, covers a lot. So she's one smart lady. You're a smart lady, Dee. And, you know, if this had the lid, I'd be able to sell it for a lot more money. This does not have the lid, but it's still a cute little Amish butter print fridgy. I got two planters. I got a turtle, a turtle. He's so cute, a little turtle planter. He's all white. He looks like a dinosaur. It's dinosaur face, like a brontosaurus. But you know, he has been used. He was $2.99. He's so cute. It's a little turtle. And then I got a dog. I got a, I think that this is a Cocker Spaniel. I've had this, and in fact, you know, I may have another one of these. Um, now, the antique mall that's here in my town, they have one of these that's in that teal color. It's glorious, but it's a little spendy. I paid $2.99. Now, if the antique mall sold theirs for $2.99, I would gladly buy it, but they don't. So, I have a blue dog. A blue, what I think is a Cocker Spaniel dog. American-made pottery don't know who made you, but you were made in the USA. I can tell by feeling you. So are you, Mr. Turtle. All right, then I got a camera. Um, I want to say that Mark found this camera. He brought it over to me, and it has the flash reflector on it. It is a Kodak camera. It's the Kodet lens. It's the Duraflex 6 or 4. I don't know. But it's... You know, I don't know if this works. And if you're selling these vintage cameras on eBay, you're gonna probably have to put in your description that is untested. It's an untested because I don't have film for this. I, I'm not going to get film for this. So it's, it's gonna be untested. There's so many knobs and stuff on here. It gets me a little distracted. Okay, let's screw you back in. But this is a really good decor piece. Now, some of these cameras can be worth quite a bit of money. Um, I think we looked at this one up in maybe $18 to $25 range for it. But for a display to sit on a shelf, it has a, a, it's, a, it's pretty cool. 
I have to say, but it's a co-debt co -debt lens. And there's the top. And it says to use Kodak 620 film. I believe that this is Bakelite, the little knob on the, the little flashing guy. So that's pretty cool. We paid $4.99 for that. And then we got some books. They had brought, I think Barb got a couple books too, but they had brought out a big cart full of books. And I say this a lot and I'm going to say it again. Don't underestimate books. Yes, they do take a long time to try to figure out. You're looking up the copyright date. And sometimes the artist matters and the condition does matter. But think about books from there is a collector's standpoint. If, you, if you're getting something that's a first edition or it's a rare copyright on it, or there are a lot of different specifications that make a book a little bit more valuable than any other. So there's that aspect of it. But I also think of it from an aspect of using a book in home decor. I do it all the time. I recommend that you all do it. It's It, it, it adds a lot of interest to your display. And then there's a whole other, which I don't want to know about, because I know people do this and that's fine if they do it, but I don't, I'm a, I am a purist. I like to leave things as they are. So if people do this, what I'm going to tell you that they do over here is fine. There's nothing wrong with it, but just don't tell me about it and let my heart be pure, but they will cut them apart or tear them up and use them for junk journals. And that's fine. I, it, I, I just, it, that's, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just, you know, I like to leave things how they are. This book is beautiful. It is Poems by Shelley. Look at the cover on that. I mean, you could just put that on a, like a, a plate stand and have that as artwork almost. It's beautiful. It has these stunning gold foil pages. So if you're displaying, a lot of people display their books this way with the pages going out. I'm an old school gal and I like my books displayed. I like the artwork on the spine. This is il an illustrated Shelley, which Shelley is a poet. So it is a, a book of poems by Shelley. Beautiful pages in this book. I'm going to see if I can find the copyright date. I know that Mark looked this up um, while we was in the store. I think it's a decent book. Um, it The copyright date is... Well, there is no copyright date, but it says it's illustrated. So I'm trying to find one of the pictures. I mean, there's not a lot of illustrations in this, but it is illustrated. It's like it's mainly black and white or it is all black and white illustrations in this, but a beautiful book. I'm going to say it's probably 18 something. 18. That's what I'm going to guess. It just seems to be about that time. Um, but very pretty book. And I think I want to say that we paid a dollar for these books. So then we have a classic, Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. Oh, this was $1.99. Maybe they were $1.99 each. This one has a $1.99 tag on it, but it has this fun artwork on it. I like the color. Color means a lot. I like different colors, books, because you can add that into your different displays. This one also, look at the inside cover of it too. It also has illustrations in it as well, if I can find one. I mean, mainly not illustrations, mainly, there's one. Jane and the Brocklehursts. So this one, the copyright date in here is 1955. So 1955 copy of Jane Eyre, and it's, um, I don't know, I liked it, $1.99. And then this was like a, I want to say, it's a retired library book. It's a uncirculated library book from Animals of the Seashore. I like the graphics on it. I like the color. It's a little children's book. I can take this library um, tag off of it. It was from the Beckenmeyer Media Center in Hillsboro, Illinois, which makes sense because I bought this in Illinois. This one is copyright 1958. 
Animals of the Seashore by Bertha Morris Parker. To learn about jellyfish and comb jellies, a fiddler crab, oh, a hermit crab. Hey, did you know that crabs eat both live animals and dead ones? They help keep the water of the seashore clean by eating dead animals. Thank you, hermit crab. The starfish. Living along the shore. Ooh, there's a sand dollar. Let's see. Let's find out about another animal or another sea creature. Worms of the seashore. Ooh. One of the worms in this picture is a sea mouse. You can tell which one it is. Okay. Uh, the sea mouse gets its name because it has so many soft bristles. That, oh, that looks like a mouse's fur. I'm going to guess it's this one right here. See, we're learning so much about animals of the seashore from this book. So I got that one. It was also $1.99. I'm assuming that all the books were $1.99. And then there's this one. Oh, I love this one. Look at the look at the cover on this. It's just a little boy pushing his wheelbarrow of dirt with his little dog. And look at that annoyed son. It's like, it's time to go to bed. This is Childcraft. And Childcraft, I don't know if it's the same company, but Childcraft makes a lot of like children like classroom furniture and stuff this is science and industry so i'm assuming this was like a whole series this one was see or book number nine science and industry you can see it's got this nice um this one was from kirk no yeah no missouri kirkwood missouri Missouri. This has to be from the 50s. Let me see. Living Things. Oh my gosh. The, the artwork on this is amazing. I'll show you. Hang on. I'll show it to you in a minute. I'm just trying to. In 15 volumes, this is volume 9, Science and Industry, 1954. So this, the original copyright was 1934. So this one's 1954. But look at the illustrations in this. And this, oh, so it's like a little encyclopedia. Animals which have backbones. A kangaroo, a raccoon, a possum, a giraffe. Oh, no, that, well, they do have backbones, but they are the animals that give milk to their babies. Animals that have backbones are a haddock. Oh, wait, I guess they do. Okay, that makes sense. Toads, frogs, and salamanders. And swans. Swans have backbones. Grow up. Get a back. I know a lot of people that don't have backbones. But. <gasps> Wait a minute. No, never mind. I got excited there for a second because I thought. I just turned to this picture. And I thought that was Arch Rock on Mackinac Island. But it is not. It is from the Union Pacific Railroad. And there, I don't believe that there's a railroad on Mackinac Island. Because it wouldn't go very far. Because it's just an island. You can't go off of it anywhere. But anyway, the pictures on this are so 1950s. Well, probably 1939, actually. Since that's the first copyright of this. But this is about science. Oh, sand is used to help make glass. Look at that picture. That's fun. So, I don't know. I like to buy books. I sell a lot of books. I use a lot of books for home decor. If you have an antique booth, it's good to, you can, I mean, you can put a, you want to put a price tag on it. You don't want to have like a not for sale things all over your booth because that's annoying. But you can, you know, put some prices on your books and then stack, you know, and, and add your little goo on it. And you, you know, it's a way to, that you can sell up something. The last item in my haul is something that Mark found. He's learning. I mean, he knows the stuff because he's been around it with me, but he knows that I would like this. And I think that he knows that you all would like it too. I'm not real crazy about the frame, but it's... Ugh. This is so just precious. It's precious. It's a little Puda. Look. Look at the little Puda. It's a little mouse with a little flower in its mouth. It's a little, it almost looks like the, um, like the charm. Well, where are you at? I have the Charmin girl. What did I do? Oh, you're over there. 
Well, it's like that really soft, pastel-y looking thing. This was from Fanning Graphics from Long to LBC, the Long Beach, California. Now, this is, I'm not real crazy about the frame itself. The frame looks like it's probably from the 70s. It's got the staples in it, but I'm going to be selling this at a live sale and I will take it out of the frame if the person wishes and they can put it, it almost looks like a barn wood frame. I'm just not a fan of it, but I love the little Puda. Now I paid $4.99 for this little picture here, but look at that little Puda. It's just so fuzzy and cute. So I think that he did a good job. He did a good job. I always, too, don't, don't skip out on the artwork Two, I know that artwork is not, the, it's not the funnest thing to ship. It isn't. But I have found some pieces of artwork that I have sold for quite a bit of money, which makes the artwork worth shipping because of your profit margin there. Another thing, don't look out, don't leave out books, don't leave out artwork, and definitely don't bypass your linens. Linen towels. I just sold, this was in another haul video, but I did have a lot, a lot of people message me about this linen towel or this little kitchen towel. And I found it at Savers in the linens. So vintage linens, especially vintage kitchen towels do very well. So make sure that you do not leave them, like put them in your radar so you can go and seek them out because they do sell. So with that, that's it. That's, that's my haul from Salvation Army. It wasn't a lot of stuff, but I think it was fun stuff. We had a good time. It was a nice day. We had a good time. We had laughs. We had fun. That's all that matters. And we were able to look at and find some really cool things. And thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure that you do go in and you leave a comment. Make sure that you give me a thumbs up. What else? Make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and hit the bell notification. I do go live every Wednesday at one o'clock for a my weekly live vintage sale. So if you hit that little notification button, you will be notified every time I do go live. Also check out my eBay store. I do have not as many listings as I was as I would like, but I do have a lot of listings over on my eBay store that my eBay store is linked down in the description below. And if you can't make it to my live sales, you can definitely go over to eBay and um, look and see what I have if there's anything that you would like to purchase from me there. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.